Alright boys, I got a game here. Some high roller ruins to crypts to inferno. On my movement speed rogue setup. Rocking 112% movement speed. 120 HP without weapons out. Mostly a looting build, avoiding players as necessary. And I think I forgot lockpicks now that I think about it. That's kind of sad if so. Oh, I didn't. Sweet. Ooh, we got a good spawn. Perfect. Alright, main goal when I'm playing runes is I'm trying to spawn more center of the game. Like I did just now. And just camp the red extracts to the best of my ability. Which, just south of me, to the east, is one of those red extracts. And what I'm mainly looking to do is just turn off all the lights, buy those red gates, wait the game out, and then start actually getting the majority of my loot as I go deeper into the dungeon rather than spending time moving here. The main caveat being if I do spawn by the wolves, I will go out of my way to, to kill them. And by spawn by them, I mean spawn like in the actual room with them. Otherwise, it's just me going straight to the middle. Turn out all these lights. Now, even though I'm not going to camp this room, I still want to turn the lights out. Just to make people a bit more wary of coming this way. And if I do need to backtrack for whatever reason, I have a sense of uh, safety doing so. With all the lights out. These chests I found. The small ones with the lockpick have caves often. And of course, as I say that, it doesn't, but I'm telling you, don't sleep on those. is also the room with the extract I'm going to be using, so it's a little annoying, but overall fine. The lever I pulled earlier opens this chest over here, by the way. Potential for decent loot. Which wasn't today. I got someone really close to me. Like, actually south of me. That's a duo. It looks like a cleric and a wizard. This is a solo queue, by the way. But everyone's just teamers now. So it's awkward. I want to get this door closed. Same thing as earlier. Just turn out every single light. Get rid of cutthroat by hitting the wall so I'm not glowing. See, he opened the door, saw the lights were off, and was like, nah. People just don't want to actually push to this. For good reason. See, he's already saying, telling other people not to go in here. There's one more mob in here I gotta kill. 
guy's got two, maybe even three people with him across these doors, and they don't want to push it. Oh, gingerbread. Pickaxe is what you're seeing right here. Breaking barrels, breaking boxes, you can get a lot of good loot from doing that. Some areas of the game also block your path if you don't have a way to break boxes. There's alternative routes, but depending on the situation, it could be your only option. Don't want to be caught slip slacking. Everything in here looted and cleared. I want to go down. Because there's a golden chest down here. And a mage. You kill. And I'm pretty confident people won't chase. Because of all the lights being out. Closer. Lever here for the chest. Also, watch out above you. People could pounce, jump on top of your head. Something to keep in mind. Downside I go back going down here is you can get cornered. Like, there's only one way out. And here's our chest. We do hear people above us now. Exciting to what is this? Someone opened a door nearby. It's getting to the point of the map where we can expect the red gates to be opening. They open at like two minutes forty. Now we don't know if anyone else is hiding up here. It would seem like not. Other good part about this side of the map for camping is there's two gate options. So you can go east or south. Let's hear what this guy says. Very buddy buddy lobby. Door. 
Okay, our gates are open now. Now is anyone camping this gate? That's the other thing. What I like to do as well is just sometimes camp the gate. Give it like 20, 30 seconds. Sometimes people just run at you with low HP. Just thinking they can walk in for free and then heal after. So now there's someone in front of me here, a warlock. There's no way he's dumb enough to just walk at me though when I'm just out and about here. He also has a halberd, he could one shot me, I don't know what his gear's like. What? You really not notice me? I got my stealth back in five. Yeah, I didn't want to fuck with it. If I had stealth up, maybe. Um, alright. Now that we're in this part of the game, we want to organize the inventory. I don't want to you don't want to have to muddle around with uh your stuff. So everything high value, I just drag to the left. Everything that I think is worth dropping, I'll have ready to be dropped on the right side. That's pretty much how I handle it. This is more personal preference on how you like your inventory, so whatever you like doing. I just definitely suggest that you do some sort of inventory management. You don't want to kill someone, you don't want to be in a room, and you're like piecing through your inventory slowly, and I don't know what you want to keep, I don't know what I want to draw, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it's pretty solid. Six gingerbread's big. That's a lot of money. I save them for unique rolling, but if you're not a gambling addict, you should be selling them. But I really want to get a death bloom, so... I just buy the stilettos every time. Alright, now that we're in ruins, or sorry, crypts, now we want to actually focus on making money. Rather than just camping a single room. And we got a pretty damn good spawn. And we got zone. I like this room a lot. It's very easy to camp. What the hell? That was weird. We got zone, it's Coliseum map. So I know I just said I was gonna camp a single room, but this room is worth camping. You can make it very hard for people to wanna push you. And it's deep enough in the zone with a with a blue gate and a red gate nearby that you can warrant sitting in here. Archer come closer so I can dodge it easier. As I don't dodge it at all. It's fine, so we have so much healing. Slides, so we can start looting a bit more. See now, I don't know 
what that ring was, but a juicy epic ring. Now you open a door. You ain't coming into a room looking like this. Not a chance. circle we got was also goaded. Someone did come in here, though. <laughs> yeah, he's leaving. gates up now too. Why am I lagging? I'm like stuttering. You just don't want to get cornered in this part of the room. So. Careful going in here. Listen. That cleric wasn't too scary to me. Mainly because he's not wearing, like, plate chest. He's actually kind of squishy. Another knowledge ring that's honestly bad. Again. Ooh, perfect. No mommy down here. I'm out of lock picks though. Sad. Oh wait, no, I'm not. I'm just blind. Ooh, this wayhander is probably worth picking up. Note, I'm putting things into this manually mostly because I don't want to make noise as I just drop that on the ground but you get the idea I think that's more of a symptom of me like talking while playing turn these candles off even in here never know if I have to backtrack look at that lag Feeling like a game where I'm just gonna go blue here rather than go deeper. Hear a wraith or something in the distance. tried clearing the west room. I messed up here. I have my healing pot on. Don't have your pots on your bars. More lock picks. Okay, we hear people. We gotta move. It's a bard. Have your blue pots close. Bard and Cleric. See now that see he opens the door, he sees this room, he's like, nah. There's no chance. Fuck, this guy just took my my blue gate though. a bit annoying. Hit 
the water get rid of cutthroat. Again, turning off lights. Oh, there's a skeleton in here, though. We do have another blue gate. Whether or not it's taken out, I'm not sure. See, the power of turning the lights off, boys. We're just gonna prep all these for points. Still have a lot of room for loot. But not enough room where I want to go to hell. And this lag is also making me not want to go to hell. See what these people are doing though, real quick. Never mind. Chest of the game, anything juicy? No. Not the most eventful run, but I think it was a good showcase of the power of turning off lights. So hopefully that does give some people out there some ways, a different perspective on how they can maneuver the map. Uh, Money-wise, decent though, like around 300 and sellables, a little less. Swayhander that I think has potential to sell. A Ring of Wisdom, which definitely is going to sell. How much, I'm not sure, but it's going to be pretty solid. And I got an old cloth for my quest item. I need two more of those. So all in all, pretty good run. I appreciate you guys watching and uh, more to come.